Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I'm the Franchise King. Today I want to talk to you about something that's going to happen to you. This something that's going to happen will happen right around the time you're about to sign your franchise agreement or and or send in the money for your franchise fee. Usually at the same time, you sign your contract and you send in the check for the franchise fee, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. You know, pretty big stuff. But there's one thing that's going to happen, and, and you may not be prepared for it. Think about during the past couple months how excited you have been about the franchise opportunity that you've been focused on. You've talked to franchisees. They're mostly telling you really good things. The franchisor seems to have it together. You've attended a discovery day. You like the people at headquarters. You feel, this is important, you feel that they want you to make a lot of money. That's always a good sign. So, you're a couple weeks before the signing, right? You, you've made a decision, kind of your yes decision, and all of a sudden, this is what happens. You freak out! I mean, you are going to freak out. I'm talking sleepless nights, tossing and turning. One day you're going to wake up, oh man, I am so happy that I'm not going to ever have to work for some idiot ever again. And I, that I'm going to be able to escape corporate America and be my own boss. The next morning, you might wake up like, oh, what am I thinking of? Why is my spouse behind me on this? She must be crazy too, or he must be crazy too. Why am I thinking about even doing this? What if I don't make any money? What if I lose everything? What if my credit report turns into a nightmare because I could? Folks, relax. The things that you're experiencing emotionally before you actually sign your franchise agreement and send in your check for the franchise fee. Thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. The things that you're experiencing, the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride, is 100% normal. First of all, if you weren't a little nervous or a lot nervous, I'd worry about you. I'd worry that you weren't taking this seriously enough. Number two, take that nervous energy because you're going to have a lot of it, and go back and look at what you've done. Hopefully, you've taken some good notes. All right about your research. Hmm, perfect time to mention that the Definitive Guide to Franchise Research, my ebook, includes a worksheet that you can use for every franchise concept you contact, every franchise or every franchise salesperson you're in touch with. And uh, uh, it, it's a worksheet that has questions and answers. Your questions to the franchisees and to the franchise salesperson and the answers you get. You'll see, it's a really cool worksheet. You just print them out as you need them. Anyway, enough with that. The Definitive Guide to Franchise Research. Check it out. I'll link to it underneath. Anyway, you can look back at, at all the research you've done. You can look back at, at some of the previous phone calls. Think back about when you first found the franchise opportunity you're really interested in. Go from A to Z, and then get to where you are now, where you've hopefully written your business plan. You're really close on getting your financing done. You've already met with a franchise attorney who has helped negotiate a couple things and who feels pretty good about what you're about to do, who has protected you. Think about all the wonderful things you've done, some of them scary, to get you to this point. You're going to have sleepless nights. You're going to be nervous, but you're also going to start feeling really empowered, feeling that Wow, I can finally take control of my life. That my boss doesn't have to. That I'm going to be the boss. And I'm going to start going after my dreams. So, the bottom line is this. Right before you sign your franchise agreement and send in your check for the franchise fee, you're going to freak out. It might be freaking out on a 1 to 2 out of 10 scale, or it might be freaking out 9 to 10 where your veins are popping and you're not sleeping and you're like, man, maybe I shouldn't even do this. You're going to feel all that. Remember, at the end of the day, if you've done your research the right way and you're looking at opportunities, and in this case, a specific opportunity that you know you can afford because you've done a net worth statement, you know it's in your budget, generally, things are going to probably work out okay as long as you've done your homework. Now, go do it. If you feel it's right, trust your gut and become a successful 
franchise owner. Go for it. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lobato. Thanks for watching.